No, this is not a clip from Terminator 6. This is real, but don't expect to see it on the road anytime soon. Welcome to What the Future. On today's show, BMW's self-driving motorcycle, California's plan to fight climate change from space, and we finally learned who will be the first paying passenger on a SpaceX mission to the moon. Okay, this might be the coolest video you see all week. BMW modified this motorcycle to drive itself. Now the bike can't start on its own. Somebody has to get it balanced and moving. But once it's going, it can do pretty much everything else. Throttle, brake, steer, and stay balanced. This is just a prototype. The goal isn't to put it into production, but BMW is using this to study riding dynamics and hopefully build new safety technologies in the future. So think features like lane assist and automatic braking. Who knows when any of that would actually go into production bikes, but BMW says it hopes to implement findings from this research soon. All right, Governor Moonbeam is living up to his nickname. California's Governor Jerry Brown says his state will launch satellites to monitor climate change. Actually, he said, So we're gonna launch our own satellite, our own damn satellite. Okay, why the fighting words? Brown suggested that the Trump administration isn't using NASA enough for climate research. California has teamed up with a company called Planet Labs. It specializes in tiny satellites. In fact, there are more than 150 Planet Lab satellites taking images of the Earth right now. The plan is to develop satellites that can pinpoint the source of a pollutant. That data would be made available to the public along with the help of the Environmental Defense Fund. No timetable on when California would launch its first satellites. We do know when SpaceX plans to send a tourist to the moon, and we know who it is. On Monday, Elon Musk said Yusaku Muzawa will be the first paying SpaceX passenger. He's the Japanese billionaire that founded online fashion mall Zozotown. And he's not going alone. He says he'll invite six to eight artists. He hopes they'll create art based on their experience for a project he's calling Dear Moon. Mazawa hasn't said how he'll select the lucky few, but if you're watching, I like to consider myself a bit of an artiste. It's not clear how much coin he dropped for this. All we know is he's already put a deposit down that Musk called a quote, non-trivial amount. Now, if all goes as planned, the mission launches in 2023. And one more note, NASA's TESS has sent back its first image. And the satellite has already found its first new planet. Scientists call it a super Earth that's orbiting a star nearly identical to our own sun. All right, what makes you say WTF? Let us know in the comments. That's gonna do it for this week. Thank you for watching What the Future. I'm Andy Altman. We'll see you next time.